All right, let's work on the confused potato. Use the given measurements to find the missing one. Okay, pretty uh, general descriptions here. So we have a square and we have a rectangle. And I give you the length of X and the length of Y. So here's what I would do. Again, the best practice is to do this stuff on paper. And there's also some reminders of some basic formulas. All right, so if X is six and Y is 21, that means this square is a six by six square, which means it has an area of 36, and then it has a six by 21 rectangle, so that means six times 21 will give us the area of that rectangle. Okay, 126. The total surface area would be the total of the individual surface areas, so you'd wanna take the 36 and add the 126. I'll write that down. 36 for the square plus 126 for the rectangle would be a totalness of that many. There we go. 162. That's the confused potato. All right. All you do is you find the area of the square, you find the area of the rectangle, and add them together. That's it.